Never in my wildest dreams would I've imagined 10 years after being fired from my job that you know our business would have gotten the valuation that it got. Everybody gets a situation, everybody gets dealt a card and they either, they make it what they make it, right? They either make it the most devastating thing that ever happened to them or they make it what defined them. Every time I feel myself being like super stressed out, I'm like, what is the universe, what is God trying to teach me right now? Because there's always a lesson mm -hmm. and there's always a silver lining. Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. And today we have a super, super, super special delivery, Ooh. guest of honor. She came here all the way from next door. That's right, guys. We're officially neighbors. That's right. I love it. No boundaries. Even nope. less boundaries than before. At least I don't have to stay longer. Now I can come and go. Yeah, but you don't go. That's true. She just stays. Yeah. True story. This, this video is not about that, though. This video is about important, uplifting things, not about the fact that you're cramping my style. <laughs> That's it. Cut! <laughs> Okay, so today we're gonna talk about something really, really important. For a lot of you guys who follow Huda Beauty, Huda, myself, the brand, the family, a lot of people still don't know Huda's journey and how she started venturing into makeup and how she really found her calling. I think it's really great for Huda to talk about, you know, when she first got the call. Actually, I got the call when Huda first told me that she had gotten fired for her job. I was super devastated for her because I thought that she loved what she did. You know, she really was able to turn it into something really incredible and I'd love for you to tell people about that experience about like losing your job and going through that and then how you were able to change mm -hmm. things for yourself. I have always been a workaholic. It runs in our blood. Thanks See? to our father <laughs> who is here watching the video. No pressure. I won't say anything bad about you, daddy. I think naturally, you know, being a Middle Eastern family, an immigrant family and having moved to the States, we had this like, you know, I don't want to say a chip on our shoulder, but we were, we were definitely working out of fear. There was a lot of fear that was lingering on top of all of us all the time about, you know, not being able to provide, not being able to do enough, not being able to be enough. I actually ended up studying fine finance because Mona told me to. So Mona is, <laughs> Mona is my little sister, but I've always actually thought she was very wise. And on a separate note, I take people's advice. Mona doesn't take people's advice, but I take people's advice because I have no problem there. doing that. <laughs> Mona is a bit stubborn and she hates taking so people's advice. But anyways, so what it, say the, say the, let me tell my story. Yeah. So when she told me to study finance and, she, and I was like, why should I do it? And she was like, cause you like numbers and you like statistics, really you like smart. all those things. And I was like, okay, sure. I'm going to study finance. And I was studying finance and I'm super codependent with Hedda. So I wanted her to do whatever I did or I wanted to do whatever she did. She was so hardworking. She had created this career path of where she wanted to be in 10 years because she's yeah. just so full throttle. But I'm full throttle with everything. I mean, like right now I'm trying to become like the best cheese plate maker in the world. Like, my chartreuse <laughs> plate is like on, it's like lit. I didn't realize I was so miserable in my job and I, and I was actually being a bitch to everyone around me because I was so just, miserable. Just a little bit. Just yeah. A little bit. My boss was a little bit of a d Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. He was a d no. So it wasn't like- Just put a banana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was- <laughs> Over your mouth. Daddy's here. So um, I ended up losing my job and I remember being really devastated. I was like in shock. He brought me into a room and he was just like, we're ending our relationship with you. And I was like, that's a weird way to say this. I was like, I'm, so we're like, I'm fired. And he was like, yeah. I was like, okay, I'll get my things and I'll go. I was like really upset. The first thing I thought was like, I am so ashamed of what my family is gonna think about me because here I am busting my ass. One of the first ones in the office, one of the last ones to leave, if not the first and last. Not only did she lose her job, but she lost her job after working so hard and performing. So yeah. I, you know, I think it was very devastating for you and also myself, I was like, I can't believe it's just not fair. I remember sitting around the table, me and my sisters and my mom and dad, my dad was being like really soft. He was just like, maybe this wasn't the right thing. You know, don't worry about it. And then my mom, I remember she said something. She was like, screw that guy. And she was saying bad things about him. And my mom was like, not, it was weird. Cause they're usually the opposite. I thought I was so nervous that they were going to be really upset with me. But then I kind of went through this weird transition after that, because I was like, okay, now I know my parents have accepted this. I need to accept this, which I had a hard time doing that. And at the time my husband and I, we were just engaged. And I was like, you know what? Let me just throw all my passion into my engagement and getting married. I tried to like, I continuously tried to find a place to throw all of my passion into so I could kind of avoid the situation, which was like, what is going to be my career that's gonna make me happy? And instead of accepting what's happening, you kind of wanna go into this place of avoidance and put your, your attention, your focus, and your value on the things in front of you instead of actually going deep. And that's kind of what I did for a little while, actually. I did it for like a good like nine months. I do have to say, I think it's a great thing that had to do that and something we've mentioned on the this channel before is like my dad's when a, a quote I heard from my dad is like al haraka fi baraka so like the more you move the more blessings you attract so I think it's great that you kept trying different things because I think that leads you to figure out what you want to do and it leads yeah. you to something that will just make you find things faster I think staying still is okay but it's not good to do it for too long one of the things that I did start doing then is I started watching Candy Johnson on YouTube and I was so obsessed with her videos and she was so cute she was so positive and I 
I started like doing all this makeup. And I remember going to um, like different events here. Like Mona, Mona's always been really popular in Dubai. And I was like, I was just, I just moved here. So I didn't know anybody. I was always like Mona's sister. Now you're Huda's sister. <laughs> I've always been Huda's sister. You're but older than me. for a little while, I was Mona's sister. And so I was going around. Everybody's like, oh, Mona's sister. Hey. And I was like, hey, it's Mona's sister. Hi. You know? And you're like, you just wait. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I was like, look at the makeup I learned from Candy Johnson. I remember going around telling everybody about her. And um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And Mona was like, you really love makeup. And I was like, yeah, I have duh. to stop you. This is what happened. Rude. She was like. I remember like looking up because all I would ever hear is her talking about makeup. She was telling me about another lipstick and I was like, this bitch is so annoying. <laughs> She's always like Why talking about this? makeup and she always be like, you have to try this, you have to try this. And I was like, I've never seen somebody like this crazy about something that I saw Huda about makeup and beauty. And I was like, something just clicked and I was like, this is her calling. And I remember thinking, and you were thinking too, you're like, there's no way mom and dad are going to support like mm -hmm. doing beauty and everything. Yeah. But are you going to cry? No. You look like you're about to cry. You do, do you? No, I'm not. You're not? No. Your eyes are glossy. No, my eyes are not glossy. Yours are. So are yours. No, no. I swear to God, my, <laughs> my eyes are dry. <laughs> Sisters. <laughs> it does make me emotional because I'm just, you know, I was really grateful that dad and mom supported the decision. I actually was waiting for their approval. I mean, still to this date, I have my own career, my own job, my own money, and I will not buy something if my parents tell me I can't. Still to this date, I just, I don't know why. Except for Chris. Thank God. That's another, I did it behind their that's back. That's another video, guys. So you I didn't definitely get, have to talk wait, about that one. Wait, I didn't get their not approval. I did it behind their back. So it's different. That's looking so at you. Yeah. I did it behind your back for like. So it's different. <laughs> I honestly think she's the wise one. Like You've here. never said that. I should have I agree. listened to my I agree. I think. I've always, yeah. yeah. And what advice would you give people watching if they have lost mm -hmm. their job or if someone they know has lost their job, like what would you tell people? I would say like this is the time for you to invest in yourself. When we're working, we are really spending all of our time focusing on our career, which is for us, but is it really? <laughs> you know, that's the question. Like, do we really love what we do? Like, that's the question. And I think traditionally, you know, we would always just working like to make our parents happy. And or to pay um, the bills. To pay the bills. And sometimes like you really, like you really need to have fun with what you do. You need to love what you do. And that was just like a really important thing that I started thinking about. Like for me, beauty was a very personal thing. It was personal. I felt ugly. And it is personal still. It is personal. It's still personal. You know, I felt ugly and I just wanted that feeling of feeling beautiful. And now I just feel like I just want to pass it on and let people feel like empowered because of it. But at the time, you know, I didn't know that beauty was going to be a career that I could pursue. I thought that my worth was with my job. I didn't know I actually had my own worth. My worth was not with my job. It was separate of that. You know, it's so funny because now when I talk to my team members, I'm like, your worth is not your title. It's your name, your position, who mm -hmm. you are. That's your worth. I mean, now, if I saw my old boss. <laughs> you did want to send him a basket of muffins. I did. Yeah. I tried to, actually, and he refused. But he still wants our business. Yeah. And hiring people, but okay. <laughs> like, be nice to be everyone. Nice to everyone. You be never nice to everyone. Because if he was nice, I would definitely, we would, we would use him. Yeah, that. if he would have been nice and explained. But and I don't said, trust him. I don't trust you. I used to say the dirty shit you did. <laughs> so I think there's like a lot of great lessons to be learned from today. I think, mm. you know, number one, never give up. You can turn a negative thing into a very positive thing. And you just, you never know what the future is going to hold, right? We're always, we're always in that moment. We always think that we are defined by the things around us and the moment, but you're actually never defined by that. That actually never is what defines you. What defines you is where you are heading. So maybe you've been giving to your career, maybe you've been giving everything to everyone around you, to your relationship, whatever it is, and it ended. You can try to change your scene and, and ignore everything that's going on and invest in it something else and, and just keep filling your cup temporarily. Um, I always say like filling the holes, filling the voids, which is actually just makes the void bigger. Or you can take a moment for yourself, think about what you really want, try to find that inner peace, but never accept defeat because you never know what's gonna happen I have to add like I love you know what it is saying and it's something that I started doing recently like every time I feel myself being like super stressed out or hot and flustered or like oh, I feel like super anxious I'm like what is the universe what is God trying to teach me right now and I actually write it down like what is the lesson here because there's always a lesson mm -hmm. and there's always a silver lining never in my wildest dreams would I've imagined after being fired and being like broke and literally like just yeah I remember at the time I was like I don't, the only thing I have money for is lipstick right and lipstick is gonna make me happy I was driving up Shakespeare Row and I was like, I need to go to Mac and buy a lipstick right now because I need to feel better. And that was all I could afford at the time. But never would I imagine like eight years later, I would have had a company with like amazing, an amazing team, an amazing amount of products, you know, a beautiful Your own lipstick. My own lipstick. What? <laughs> what? what? Yeah, never would I have imagined that. <laughs> 
and been able to support my family, been able to have like an amazing community of followers, never would I have imagined that. If I didn't get fired, I would have still been working there, admiring that person and being like, oh man, I really wish I was like that person. It may be the biggest blessing, but you have to make it that because everybody gets a situation, everybody gets dealt a card and they either, they make it what they make it, right? They either make it the most devastating thing that ever happened to them or they make it what defined them. You have to choose to find the beauty in every single moment because there's always a lesson to be learned. There's always something beautiful about that moment. There's always something that is there specifically for you to find. For today's quote of the day, we're actually gonna have Huda share her quote, which it, I love. It's just on my Twitter. It's amazing. Thank you. Can you read it out? I actually posted it. It just says, someday you'll realize that every time you thought you were being rejected from something good, you were just being pointed towards something better. I love that and I couldn't agree more. I think that applies to every area of your life, whether it's an opportunity, your job, a relationship, yeah. friendships, experiences where you, like sometimes when you move, like you just mm -hmm. never know. Like whenever you have these new opportunities, just make the best out of it. Always find the beauty in it because there's always beauty in every single moment. It's just up to you to find it. Absolutely. Be that person. I love you, Hootie. Come here. Come Aww, here. Oh, she's here. gonna boop hug me you again. Come here. I only do it to people I love. Oh, you cracked my neck. <laughs> Guys, make sure that if you like this video, that you like the video and comment below. Let us know. If you, you like know, the video, like the video. Like the video. <laughs> if you don't okay. like the video, like the video. <laughs> if you like the video. <laughs> but just make sure you share your feedback as well. Maybe you can share like an experience you've had or like mm -hmm. what do you want to learn more from Huda? I'd love to bring her on more. Maybe you could share what you guys would love to have her on and talk about. So um, love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for all the updates on new videos. And you guys are amazing. We love you so we much. We love you so much. And please remember to keep hope. You are amazing because you watch this video with the intention to become better, to Woo! learn something better. So you are amazing because Yay. of that. We love you guys. Love you guys. Mwah. Love you guys. <laughs>